You're very welcome back to the final part of the Six O'Clock Show, where musical maestro Linda Martin has been helping our culinary cardinal, <laughs> Quan J. Chan, prepare for tonight's dinner. Quan J. just murdered a bottle of olive oil. Is it rapeseed oil or olive oil? You just, oh, you just it's actually it. um, sunflower oil. Sunflower, sunflower oil. oil. Yes. There you and go. It's, it's everywhere. It's not, yeah. it's not everywhere. No, come on, did, come on, Ray. You did a good job there, Ray. Right? Be know, nice. Yeah. We're, we're going ice skating back here. <laughs> come on, Ray. Slip and uh, just Be careful with that. What's been going on in the kitchen for the last, or during the air break. Yeah. Uh, right, what are we have? We're having tofu, and what else? Yum, yum. So, we're going to have tofu and rice for you, okay? But okay. Um, I want to talk about the tofu first. This yeah, one's it Indo... It looks really good, yeah, really so crispy. Yeah, so Indochine, right? So, um, Sonia Lennon was here last week, and yeah. um, she told me about this uh, dish, because she, she went travelling with India, you know? Mm -hmm. and she told me that um, the, in, uh, the Indo chain is uh, like a, between like um, Thailand, there's a border between India and China, but all the flavors and spices come into the Chinese dish, you know what I mean? I said, I have to do that next week, mm -hmm. you know? So it's a sweet chili kind of tofu. So what we're going to do- Inspired by Sonia Lennon. Exactly. There it's mad, you isn't go. it? Yeah. yeah. So, um, so what we're going to do is, uh, what you normally do is you, fr you cut these tofu, you buy this firm, okay? Would you use a lot of oh, tofu? Oh yeah, like, okay. so yes, we're going yes, for yes, firm tofu, and would you go for organic tofu, is there a difference? I just buy the normal one, because yeah. I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. Is there a big difference, like you think, or? Probably just in the price, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most, the word yeah. yeah. So <laughs> you can cut it into small dishes like this, okay? And mm -hmm. what you normally do is you fry it in your, um, your um, deep fat fryer mm -hmm. until it pops up like this. Oh. Delicious. Right. And that oh, gives too bad, yeah. yeah. that gives it a lovely texture, okay? And could you do it in an air fryer? And no, I think it'd be quite hard to do in an okay, air fryer because yeah. they'll probably break up yeah. once, you know, so. Um, and it, you didn't coat that at anything, did you? That's just uh, as is. No, as it is, you just throw that in there okay. and it pops okay. up, okay? Mm. So gotcha. what, yeah, so what I'm going to do, geez, you're flying ahead there, Linda, so yeah. So See? she's, uh, Linda's cutting some talent. peppers <laughs> there, yeah. <laughs> Which are you're Linda non-existent. <laughs> what? Who's doing the dinner tonight? Is it you or Eurovision legend, Linda Martin? Well, I'm trying to catch up. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, uh, so some garlic in here, okay? And I what I want garlic. to do is uh, I want to flavor this tofu first, okay? So you want to put the tofu in there because you want to yeah. heat it up. So that's fried and chilled, okay? So mm, you can yeah. have them done before. And just give them a little stir around. So some garlic in there, some oil. And Linda's um, there you go. lovely There's your peppers. Your Thank you very much. Lovely peppers chopped up by Linda. And would you, would you cook much at home? You were saying you didn't cook much at home at all. Like Linda, no? <laughs> Not at all. I can't cook. Is there anything you cook at home? I make lasagna. Lasagna, oh lasagna. nice, yeah. A veg vegetarian lasagna, like yeah. Lasagna. Would you do a little cooking demo now in your night on the sixth or seventh? <laughs> I don't think so, I don't think so. There's a friend of mine called Michael English who's actually appearing in the Pro Cathedral on the 6th and I'm trying to convince Michael to become vegetarian now and he's, he's he, I love him, he's a wonderful country singer and everything but I'm afraid steak means a lot to him. Oh. But I work on it. Well, we'll have to get him into Quan Jay's brand new place. New oh, place yeah. in Grand Canal? Yes, yes. Um, I opened a new restaurant there down in um, yeah. oh, Capital Dock. Right? So yeah. um, just down beside the Capital Dock beside Brew Dog. So. Yes. And you're going to be adding a few vegan things to the menu? Absolutely, oh, yeah, absolutely. Excellent. We have we have Linda, one or two. Linda, there already, Louis, so. and I will come in. We definitely, <laughs> we have a big, massive, uh, lovely restaurant. that's in the fresh uh, supermarket. Mm -hmm. We're taking a whole side. So, Kanji, yeah. back. What's in the pan now? So we have some um, we have some onions in here. I throw Smells. some chilies in there. Yeah. So what you want is to get that flavour in there. And the tofu will always rise at the top, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Just get that lovely flavour in there. And mm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up some. Just time to get the veg. In, yeah, 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 so. absolutely. Yeah, and the peppers, what, the onions. Yeah, and what uh, I what I like about the veg is it doesn't take long to cook veg. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So, yeah. so the smells are lovely, aren't they? Oh, yeah, it really is. It's lovely. Spring onions. Now, okay, so this is ketchup. Okay, so okay. now we're going to make a little um, sweet and sour sauce. Okay, so I have some fresh oranges. Yeah, lovely. Okay. So I have some uh, vinegar. So this is the sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so is that a rice vinegar? That is rice wine vinegar, mm. and I have some soya sauce in here as well. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and this seems like the type of sauce that you could throw on a lot of things. Yeah. Okay. It is. Yeah. So. And what, what's that? John? This one is a mushroom uh, sauce. It's like Ooh. a version of a, a vegetarian mushroom oyster sauce. Okay. Oh, that's so. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's it. I know that's got <laughs> yeah. yeah. the cheese going in. And also tomato sauce. So All right. bit of ketchup. Bit of ketchup, yeah. you know. It's a bit of zing in that as well. Fantastic. And um, I was asking Ross earlier about the about the honey, you know, so yeah. 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 But I'm I'm gonna use honey because I want to sweeten it a bit. But yeah. if you want like You could use sugar. maple, you could go to agave, any kind of liquid. If you're vegan, yeah. 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 So. 
One of my gotcha. neighbors has beehives oh, and okay. he leaves me in the, the oh, honeycombs the every honey. year. Oh my oh, God, the taste no, of it is so exquisite. It's exquisite. And is that a bit of cornstarch? That's my potato starch. Oh, 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 oh potato know, yeah. starch, nice. And this you put that directly into your uh, sauce, your sauce mix, yeah? To yeah. thicken it up. That's it. I've yeah. never seen <laughs> potato starch it before. <coughs> oh, all the spices, are, the spices are getting into my throat next. I know. So you want to mix that up, and this is a little slush, so you can see that kind of go in there, all right? Yeah. yeah. So we want to throw that in there, just thicken it up, not too much. You can see it, you see it instantly, it's just thicken it up there. And obviously the, the potato starch is, is kind of clumping together, but once that gets some heat, it'll kind of disperse, will it? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, yeah so nice. like you see it start thicken up. So oh, what I'm going to do is put some chili in there. Mm, so yeah. this is the Indian kind of part, and then some paprika as well, okay? Okay, so, it's like sort of curry vibes then of it as well. Exactly, yeah, so you get that lovely kind of red and, and spicy so you're flavor. Putting this, you're kind of putting the dry spices in last almost. Dry spices in last, yeah. yeah. So because it's, we, um, it's quite hard to do the tofu, it kind of burns, yeah. you know, so. Yeah. Well, most of the liquid has gone. That looks oh, great. Exactly, yeah, so it's yeah. kind of start picking up. And what else I'm going to do is uh, just going to grate some ginger at the top of this, okay? Lovely. So, and this will give it a lovely freshness in there. Ray, I think you will love this. What do you think? Do you know what? It's winning me over. <laughs> if, if, I, uh, if, I think it, if I think of it as chicken, if, like if I think of it as deep fried chicken, yeah. it, I need to get into the tofu. I need, I need to, you need to get into the tofu. Yeah, and try yeah. And give it a go. Uh, uh, the question uh, I have though is, yeah. did you have to pre-fry, deep fry the tofu before you put it on, or do you have an option whereby you'd have something else you could do, or is there something else you can do beforehand before you put it in? Yeah, so you can pre-fry the, you know, the tofu if you want. And will that keep then? It will keep, yeah, yeah. They will keep. You can stick it in the fridge. It will last for a couple of days. Yeah, All right, so, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have to deep fry, or could you just chop that tofu up? You can chop that tofu and up. And put it in the pan with those you, vegetables. You can put a pan, things. but that will break up. But like, it's a different oh. version then. But uh, it just, just doesn't give it the same texture. Yeah. You know? so tofu it's kind of like also. a soft yeah, texture. Tofu is one of those ones that it needs a little bit of help, though, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Flavor or just put chicken yeah. in it as well is another good one. Like tofu. You definitely need flavor. You definitely need flavor in tofu because it's so... Um, yeah, it's very bland. Very bland. This, this looks and smells well. delicious. Yeah. Get yeah. this over here. Your comments and your oh. WhatsApps. Uh, Dole was on WhatsApp. He said, love seeing uh, Kevin Clifton on the show. Would Linda ever think of doing Dancing with the Stars? Would you ever do it? I've been asked to do it, but it, it clashes with work. You see, that's the problem. Because you're busy towards the end of the year busy and you've got to be training. And then we do the, the show band show every year and that starts on the 1st of January. And that's when they're you on. See, so unfortunately, I'd love to because I love the sparkle and the I would love to see you on it. Uh, Adele texted in as well. Great to see Linda on the show. I can't believe it's nearly 30 years. It's not 30 years since it you is. won the Euro. It's not. Mm. It's nearly. Yeah, it's 15 nearly. or 16. We leave yeah. it at that. <laughs> scale it back every time since Eurovision went. It feels like yesterday. And um, Brian from Louth texted in. Love Kevin and, loved Kevin and Stacey as a duo on Strictly. Uh, hopefully he'll return to our TV screen soon. He's busy, 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 and he was lovely to talk to earlier on. You can go uh, and mm. listen to his podcast. Mm. Right, are we going to mention it again? Eventbrite, are we? Oh yes, Eventbrite, Eventbrite Pro the, Cathedral. By the Pro Cathedral for the 6th and the 7th of December. Celine Byrne, Red Hurley, Michael English, Mary Byrne, Anna Carney, uh, Ronan Murray's playing his magical organ. And then the Tuesday the 7th. Right of time. Right of time. Oh, right of time. They're killing, they're shutting them a year. Oh, Eventbrite, Tuesday buy them. Yeah. Dana on a pole. Yeah. Yeah. Eventbrite, <laughs> .ie. Eurovision Night is on the 7th. That's the, 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 in the Pro Cathedral. Get your tickets at eventbrite.ie. And we are done. They're, they're shouting at me. Don't forget, you can catch Quanji's recipe uh, over on our Facebook page or catch the steps you missed on YouTube, VMTV, food. I'm cutting into Martin Short. I'm in trouble for that one. Yeah, you are. <laughs> That's all we've time for this evening. But a massive thank you to all our guests, especially Linda Martin and Quanji Chan. Uh, me and Ross back next Friday. Have a lovely weekend. Martin and Karen. Bye.